One of the Puritans that we've recently begun publishing has quickly become one of my favorites. He's little known, but should be known. His name is Thomas Mockett. He was a fiery Puritan preacher and covenanter, and he taught not only sound doctrine in his preaching, but extremely practical, generally dealing with ideas that we don't even think about. He very much brings that practical application and experimental preaching to light in all of his works. And this next one, another one concerning the Christian's duty, is called The Christian's Trouble and Deliverance by God. He begins with Abraham and how God took Abraham and told him to go up to the mount to offer his son Isaac on the altar. Now, if that's not trouble, if that's not difficulty, I don't know what is. He was to offer up his one and only son to be proven to be faithful to God. And so Mockett takes that and practically applies it to we as Christians. When God brings us trouble, how do we deal with it? What do we do? Do we look first to Him or do we look greatly at the trial, temptation, or difficulty that's come our way by God's providence? And when God delivers us, how do we react in terms of the way that our relationship is greater and stronger holding steadfastly as Abraham did to Jehovah Jireh? Or do we have to repent in the way that we went through that trouble because we didn't have our eyes set firmly on Jesus Christ? Abraham had his eyes set firmly on God and knew that even if God had him slay his son, that his son would be resurrected. That's how much faith Abraham, the father of our faith, had in his proving before God. This work is available right now at the Puritan Shop. Go to www.puritanshop.com for more information on this title, both in ebook and print form. And what Christian doesn't go through trouble? What Christian doesn't need to be delivered in some way by God? The question is, how will we react and act in times of trouble and deliverance? May the Lord bless you as you read and study His Word along with Thomas Mockett.